In 3D Vista, if you ever need to lock off a pano so people can't look all the way around, it's really easy to do and let me show you how. So we're over here now in 3D Vista and you can see I have a 360 and it's all the way around. And so the client has said they don't want to be able to see the Harris fencing here. They don't particularly like the trees in the background. They just want to show this main house and the rest of them. Come over here into the settings and the horizontal field of view. So at the moment it's 360. So your first thought would be, well, let's change that down to 180. But what that's going to do is it's still going to show the image as a 360, but it's going to squeeze that into a 180 degree space, which isn't what we want. So let's put this back to 360 for now. And then what we can do is we can hop on over into Photoshop. So if we open up the image size here, you can see it's 16,000 pixels by 800, which is an equirectangular two by one image. So if we go into the crop here, you can see it's two by one. So if we want to make that 180, obviously what we can do is we can half it and we can go one by one. And we'll just adjust this just all the way around until we are losing the fencing, making sure it's in the middle and we'll just save that down. So back in 3D Vista, what we can do is we can go straight in and here's that square image we saved. So if we load that up, what we can see is it's now taking that image that is 180 degrees and stretching it over 360, which again, isn't what we need. So what we need to do is we need to go back in and we need to rechange that setting that we did earlier back to 180 degrees. So if we come onto here, the horizontal field of view, it's 360. So if we now change that to 180, like we did before, what that's going to do is I now can't scroll further that way and we can't look back around the other way either. There might also be cases where instead of locking it off by 180, you want it a slightly wider view. Then what we can do is instead of a one by one ratio, we can do one and a half by one. Again, that'll just be changing from 360, 180 or 270. So if we come back into Photoshop and if we go back onto the crop settings, instead of one, let's put 1.5. So that's going to be in the middle. And for this argument, let's just say the customer is now happy with the fencing. They just didn't want people to look all the way around. So if we save that at 1.5 and we'll save that and put it back into 3D Vista. So in 3D Vista, what we'll do is we'll reopen up and instead of showing the one by one will go to the 1.5 by one. And now where it's 180, we need to change that to 270. And now correctly, I can look all the way around, but I can't quite look behind me. And we have that crop ratio, perfect. Hope you found that helpful and if you did let me know down below exactly what you want me to cover next.